Obama is pissed after what Trump just armed our military with that has our enemies hiding in holes. Ever since Trump got into office, he's been doing everything in his power to repair the damages Obama did to our military. Obama did a considerable amount of destruction throughout his two terms in office, emboldening our enemies, while at the same time stripping our military down to pre-World War II capabilities. Now President Trump has ramped up our military forces to meet the challenge of the dire political situation that Obama created, as we now have more enemies than ever before. One of the hallmark promises that Trump made on the campaign trail was to make America safe again, where he's been working tirelessly ever since taking office to improve and expand the our military forces that Obama destroyed. Now President Trump has unveiled the badass next-generation B-21 Raider long-range stealth bomber, and it has every American enemy on the face of the planet scrambling to their third-world country hidey holes. Conservative Tribune reported that one aspect of Trump's military expansion involves the U.S. Air Force, who's in dire need of a new bomber aircraft. And the destruction that this new piece of arsenal is able to produce is quite amazing. One of the hallmarks of then-candidate Donald Trump's run for office was a promise to expand and improve our nation's military forces, and since taking office, the president has taken steps to fulfill that promise. Conservative Tribune reported. One aspect of the expansion and modernization of the military is the U.S. Air Force's dire need for new strike bomber aircraft, and a recent report from the Los Angeles Times revealed that construction on just such a weapon is on the verge of beginning. Activity has reportedly ramped up at the Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California where defense contractor Northrop Grumman is expected to perform the bulk of development and construction on the next-generation B-21 Raider long-range stealth bomber, they went on. The Pentagon plans to purchase around 100 of these new bombers by the mid-2030s from Northrop Grumman, at a cost of $550 million per plane. Below is a concept of what the design will look like. The extent of these bombers' capabilities will remain shrouded in secrecy, but they are expected to be able to fly undetected and evade the most advanced radar systems in existence, and can be flown with or without a crew. The B-21 will be capable of penetrating the toughest defenses to deliver precision strikes anywhere in the world. We are providing America's warfighters with an advanced aircraft offering the unique combination of range, payload and survivability, according to Northrop Grumman. Northrop added, as stated by the Secretary of Defense, the B-21 Raider will support America's defense strategy by forming the backbone of the Air Force's future strike and deterrent capabilities. It's great to finally have a commander-in-chief who genuinely gives a crap about the country he leads, and will leave a legacy of restoring America as the world's number one superpower. Our soldiers are noticing the stark contrast between Obama and Trump, and many have come out in full support of their new commander-in-chief. Just weeks after Trump was sworn in as president, soldiers in military units across the nation were excitedly ripping down pictures of Obama from their hallways, and replacing them with pictures of Trump. Several soldiers in Kentucky got into hot water for letting their celebration of Trump get a little out of hand several months ago after they were caught flying a Trump flag on one of the vehicles of their military convoy. This new bomber is just one of the many steps President Trump has planned for restoring our military to her former glory.